Okay, today we're going to show you something that a lot of people didn't even think was possible. I'll just run over my collection of phones. Just a quick rundown. Just to let you know. Okay. Anyway, back to the main subject. If you notice here, we have a Verizon wireless cell phone here. And it's your typical droid. And we have a Verizon uh, uh, T Mobile SIM card. I'm going to place this T Mobile SIM card inside this Verizon phone and show you what happens here. Bear with me here, there might be some camera movement. My end trying to get it. Trying to work both of these here. Set this up. Okay. Got it somewhat started here. Okay, and then we'll place our micro sim in it here. Also, snap that in to place. And our extended battery here. It's an extended battery for the Motorola cell phone. Place the terminals down, shove that in, and we'll take the back, place the back on the camera, actually just snap that into place, and go around the camera, make sure everything is snapped in, and we've already hit the start button, my apologies, I didn't mean to hit the button. But uh, loading up. Okay. Any second now, we have no service at the moment. No service, and that will switch. You see here, we have no service. And searching for the networks. And we have T Mobile without the E. But it is T Mobile service, full bars. And everything appears to be working. It loads up the page there. We still have full bars. Can scroll through here, see our windows. And then we go back to our home and we hit the dial out. Okay, I dialed voicemail, but we're going to dial 611 to let you know that we are connected to T Mobile service. I will place it on speakerphone so you can hear. largest 4G network. Para continuar en español, diga español o marque 2. In the call, we also can do our voicemail by holding the 1. Voicemail. I will put that on speakerphone also. You have no messages in your mailbox. Main menu. To send a message, press 2. To create... Okay, so I think that's pretty much proof that we are on T Mobile's network with a and as you see T Mobile. 
I don't have a data plan so I just have it hooked up to the Wi-Fi but I can show you that the Wi-Fi works fine I did send an SMS and I did send an MMS file out earlier today and both of those worked fine so it does send and receive text messages and picture messages so the impossible the unthinkable has been thought up this is a non-rooted phone I will go into the settings and let you see that this phone is not rooted I will open up we will go through the S's so you don't see super user there's the S's social talk so no super user and if we go into settings here I will go down to the about page and the about phone it shows version model baseband web top and the kernel the build number that shows you that it is a Verizon baseband we are fully functioning so let me know what you think comments post in the box and we are out folks good night have a good one